Leaders, this is Hian with Friends of Irony, protecting families by protecting the pack. And today I'm going to show you how to uninstall the Mad Hatter Auto Tuner before you install the new version. Now, you only do this if uh, you're trying to install again and it's like hanging or it's like not progressing. You kind of want to wipe clean, uninstall, and I'll show you how to do that so that you can do a fresh install on a new version. Now there's going to be a point where I'm able to push new updates uh, to you automatically so you don't have to do this but until then you're going to have to do this to to uninstall it and then uninstall a new version. So let me show you how it's done. Okay. Alright so this is the screen here. I'm going to have you go into uh, your control panel and under your control panel you'll be able to see the bots. Okay, so you want to go through here, find the Friends of Irony Auto Tuner, click on that, uninstall, hit yes, and progress to that. Uh, once that's uninstalled, uh, you should be able to also go to your username, your, your browser here, go down to your C drive, um, head over to the users. And make sure that if you don't see any hidden folders, uh, I want you to do that. Click on your username that you set up with this. You should see app data, which is hidden. Now, if that's hidden, you have to click on view, options, uh, change folder and search options. Click view and make sure that you show hidden folders and drives. Okay. Once you do that, then you, that's you don't have to do it anymore. Just go to app data, roaming and find ubot studio and basically right click on that and delete that entire folder there you go so delete that entire folder and then you are ready to now install the new uh prince iron version oh uh, so it looks like right here i had to kind of yeah take care of that so now it's uninstalling all the stuff that needs to install so that's removed all right, and then uh, this folder is still there, so you're gonna have to delete the rest of that. Okay, and that's pretty much it for now. I'm gonna end this video, and I'll show you in the next video on how to install a new one. Okay, thanks.